I just couldn't let them get away with what they did. No problem. Your safety is my job. <laughs> then I guess I'm in good hands, Mr. Bodyguard. <clears throat> Yo, what's with your office? No guns, no family crest? This place is lame. Oh, for the last time, I'm out of that life. This is the detective agency I work at now. Oh, yeah. Whoops. But damn, it's grody in here. Do you guys never clean up? Kid, just take a seat, will ya? My name's June, not Kid. Hey. That's... Something your pops forgot to take home. Huh. Weird. Anyway, where are we at so far? Oh yeah, you were saying you're my kid. You know, you could call me your son, since that's what I am and all. <sighs> Look, just tell me what you know, alright? About your mom. Your pops filled me in on some of the details. Said something about how she might even still be alive. Yeah, it always seemed off to me. I just can't imagine her taking her life. But the DNA test said it was her, right? Feels like the odds of a mistake are pretty low. <sighs> I think Mom got caught up in some deep shit. Deep shit? As in... I don't know. But I think her suicide and the DNA test were faked. She's gotta be out there somewhere. As for why she can't get in touch, maybe she just can't. You sound like you thought this through. Any idea what happened? <sighs> maybe something went wrong at work. Or she got kidnapped by some criminals. Doesn't sound all that convincing. But now that you mention it, your dad did say she might have been anxious on the job. What did she do for work? Oh, she ran a cafe. Her cafe. No kidding. Did she run it all by herself? Yeah, she was doing real good too. She knows how to handle people. That's for sure. Though with her personality, I can also see her making a few enemies. Well... She would have bad customers from time to time. There were also these people who tried to buy her out. But I can't think of anyone who'd want her dead, you know? So... You think you're my son. And it says this in your mom's diary? Yeah. She writes everything in that diary. This one she wrote 15 years ago, I think. It was right after the two of you broke up. What exactly did she write? Um, stuff like... I don't know if I should keep it. I'll never see Masaharu-san again. I should get this taken care of, though. Oh, a hell of a thing for you to read. Honestly, I get how she must have felt. After all, the man she loved walked out of her life and into a life-or-death situation. How could she marry and have a kid when her husband could get killed at any moment? Yeah. Tragic, ain't it? 
Then she decided to listen to her parents and marry the guy we all thought was my dad instead. But at some point between your breakup and their marriage, she found out she was pregnant. That's probably why you never got word of it. Uh, okay, uh, for the sake of argument, let's say you are my kid. That means your dad got married, knowing your mom was carrying another man's child? I guess so. Yeah. He's really the type who'd commit like that? Could be. Maybe he was just that into her. I mean, sure, but, uh... June. You said your name was. What kind of mom has Mikiko been to you? What kind of mom? I guess I'd say she's been pretty cool. She's been... cool? Yeah. Like, she would always lend a hand to someone in trouble. Even if it was some nasty flirt or a big hulking thug, she'd get right in his face and tell him off. A couple of times she almost threw down right in front of us. Dad would freak out big time. <laughs> Sounds about right. Anyway, are you gonna help me find my mom or what? Remember, I am a professional here. That means I get paid to work. And I doubt you can afford my services. <laughs> oh, I think I've got that covered. <laughs> what? You gonna pay me in watches? I swiped it when my dad wasn't looking. Oh, sure is a nice piece of work. How much do one of these run? About 20 mil, give or take. Wait, how much? 20 million yen, man. Ha! <laughs> 20 mil for this? Fat chance. I've seen shit just like this in block over for only 30k. <laughs> you mean to tell me some idiot coughs up 20 mil to check the time? Never bullshit a bullshit kid. Don't believe me? Look it up. The brand's right there. Okay. How do you even pronounce this? <laughs> Bet it's some knockoff. Uh, uh huh? Holy shit! Damn thing's over 19 million! Vintage collection? Nope, that's just the standard model. Dad's got a ton of them lying around, too. Unreal. How long would it take to earn that? <laughs> what was that about being a bullshitter? <sighs> so here's the deal, old man. I give you the watch, you go find my mom. What? Not good enough? It's not yours to give in the first place. Put it back where it belongs. You're really gonna say no because of that? Hey! Come on! Don't leave me hanging! I'm leaving to go find Mikiko. You coming? Oh, man. You can call me Kaito, not man. Ah, you got it, Kaito! So, where do we start? Kamurocho's not exactly a small place. There was this one spot your mom used to go all the time. Cafe Alps, it's called. Yeah, I remember. There she'd be, sipping on coffee, reading a book. No noise from the city to bother her. Okay, and you think she might have went back there? Only one way to find out. <laughs> <laughs>